Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the radius of curvature for the given curve at the point where it touches the coordinate axis. So the first part, we are going to find the points. So, when it touches the x-axis, the value of y is 0. When we substitute 0 in this curve equation, we get root of x by a minus and the entire term will become 0 equal to 1. So when we take the remaining term and square on both the sides, we get x by a equal to 1. So from this we get x as a. So it means the point is point where it touches the x-axis is a comma 0. In the same way, when it touches the y-axis, the value of x is 0. It means when we substitute 0 in the curve, we get 0 minus root of y by b equal to 1. By squaring on both the sides, we get y by b equal to 1 and y equal to b. Therefore, the point is the point is 0 comma b where it touches the y axis. Now we are going to find the radius of curvature at these points. So now we are going to take this curve equation and rewrite it before differentiation. So we take root x by root a minus root y by root b equal to 1. When we differentiate this, root x differentiation is 1 by 2 root x and root a will be kept as it is. In the same way, 1 by 2 root y and root b is kept as it is into dy by dx equal to 0. We take this term to the other side. So we write the second term here as it is 1 by minus 1 by 2 root y root b into dy by dx equal to 1 by 2 root x root a. We can cancel this and this term will become negative when we take to the other side. And even the negative sign also we can cancel. And after this we take this root y into root b and multiply with this 1. So dy by dx is root y root b by root x root a. We rearrange this and keep the constant separate so that it is easier for the second differentiation. So root b by root a we kept separately and into root y by root x. Now coming to the second differentiation, we have to use this term and use the quotient rule. So we have d square y by dx square equal to, we keep this constant separately and open a bracket. So here u is root y and v is root x and we have to follow for u by v differentiation u dash v minus u v dash by v square. So here the differentiation of u is 1 by 2 root y by chain rule into dy by dx and v is kept as it is minus u which is root y and v dash is 1 by 2 root x whole divided by v square which is x and in this step in the place of dy by dx we are going to substitute it from the previous step the dy by dx expression so d square y by dx square will become this is root b by root a and here 1 by 2 root y this is root b by 
root a and into root y by root x and we also have one more root x minus root y by 2 root x and the denominator x can be written it here because this is a part of the denominator. Now we can cancel root y root y root x root x and we can take the 1 by 2 outside so root b by 2 root a x after taking this outside we have root b by root a minus root y by root x we are going to take lcm so the lcm will be both the terms in the denominator that is root a root x we take lcm we multiply this with this so we get root bx in the same way the other two term root ay now from the question we are going to take lcm for this let us write it here we already know root x by root a minus root y by root b equal to 1 when we take lcm lcm is root a root b so root of bx minus root of ay equal to 1 when we cross multiply root bx minus root ay equal to root a root b so this entire part is from here root a root b so we are going to substitute so d square y by dx square is equal to root b by 2 root a x then for the numerator it is root a root b then the denominator root a root x so here we can cancel root a and root a then the remaining term if we multiply the second derivative will become d square y by dx square is b by 2x root x into root a so we have x root x and root a now coming to the formula radius of curvature rho is 1 plus dy by dx whole square then whole power 3 by 2 then whole divided by d square y by dx square so this will become 1 plus dy by dx square so already we have dy by dx as root b by root a into root y by root x so we have to square this so b y by ax b y by ax after squaring then also we have whole power 3 by 2 and this will be b by 2x root x into root a now we are going to take lcm for this numerator part and the lcm is ax so this will become ax plus by and we take the power 3 by 2 separately for numerator and denominator then this entire denominator will get multiplied in the numerator so in the denominator we have b by this term so it will go as a reciprocal so into 2x root x root a divided by b so now this is ax plus by whole power 3 by 2 2 into when we combine this this is x power 1 x power half totally it is x power 3 by 2 so x power 3 by 2 and this is a power half 
root is a power half and here I take it individually a power 3 by 2 x power 3 by 2 into b. So we can cancel x power 3 by 2. We are going to combine these two terms. So when I bring this down this will become a power minus half and I have to group the powers. So finally we have ax plus by whole power 3 by 2 this 2 we can write it here and this is a power 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into b simplification of this will be 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 2 by 2 which is 1 a power 1 so finally we got the radius of curvature rho as 2 into ax plus by whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by ab this is our radius of curvature now we have to find the radius of curvature at the point where it touches the coordinate axis so when it touches the x axis we have a point a comma 0 so let's write rho at a comma 0 so wherever x is there we have to put a and y is there we have to put 0 so 2 into a into a plus 0 whole power 3 by 2 by ab so this is 2a square for that power 3 by 2 and ab so 2 2 we can cancel a cube by a after cancelling we get a square so 2a square by b in the same way we have to find the radius of curvature rho at 0 comma b 0 comma b is a point where it touches the y axis so in place of x I have to put 0 so this is 2 into a into 0 plus b y in place of y I have to put b then whole power 3 by 2 then whole divided by a b so finally this is 2 into b square whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by a b can cancel this b cube by b is b square so it is 2 b square by a